Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is good and great and wonderful. Everything here is pretty fantastic. I mean, as much as it can be. I took a day off today because I've been feeling kind of icky all week. Not like, not super sick, but um, I don't know. There's, there's these times when I get kind of uh, something's not right. And I end up using the bathroom a lot, and I end up feeling just very kind of, I don't know. I've said before I feel stupid, uh, and that's kind of how I felt all week. So I took the day because, that's not the point of this discussion today. Tomorrow, I get to go to a show. Now. I'm fully aware that we are in the middle of a pandemic. I am fully aware that doing something like going to see a show is very um, not advised in the middle of a pandemic. But this particular show is, you know, devised to be that way. And that is I get to see Burt Kreischer. If you don't know who Burt Kreischer is, if you don't know about me... Um, one of my long, long passions that I don't talk about a whole lot is stand-up comedy. I've been a huge fan of stand-up comedy ever since I was a kid. Um, when you would see comedy specials sometimes on, on cable, um, like Gallagher and Eddie Murphy and, you know, I've, I've always loved stand-up. Always. Uh, my whole life. And, um, so... I've never been able to afford to go see stand-up. I don't live in an area where um, stand-up comedy is a thing. There's no there's no clubs anywhere near me. I'd have to probably, maybe at Pittsburgh, there might be something up there I could go to, but there's nothing in this area for sure. Um, but the cool thing is, for this particular show and this particular person, Burt Kreischer, if you don't know who Burt is, he's the guy who takes his shirt off and, and tells the story about being in the Russian Mafia. Um... Bert has came up with a plan, and the plan is to do drive-in movie theaters. And so he's on a tour right now of drive-in movie theaters. And so it's a socially acceptable, um, you know, thing because we're not going to be anywhere near people. We're going to be in a field at a drive-in movie theater uh, watching stand-up. And I'm really excited about that for a couple of different reasons. One, I've never seen Bert live. Um, and I, I'm really excited about that. Two, the cool part about this is that Bert is, this isn't like a planned tour. Like it's not, he didn't, he doesn't have, he's, he's treating this more like going to comedy shows and doing gigs. And so it's a little bit of a workout and I've never seen a, a comedian do that. So I get to see kind of the creative process. I've not, I've not been able to, to witness that before. And, um, number two, it's a drive-in movie theater, which when I was a kid, we had a couple in this area and they were really like, I can remember going to those and really wanting to go to those, not because I cared about the movies. Like, I don't remember being a kid and going to see kids movies at a drive-in. Um, I, but I do remember our drive-in theater had a really awesome concession stand with really great food. And right up in front of the screen, they had like a playground with merry-go-rounds and roller coaster and a little train you could ride on. It was awesome. It was a wonderful thing. And of course, that all went away in the 90s and, you know, things started shutting down like that. But I get to go to a drive-in movie theater, which I haven't been to in forever. Now, it's like two hours away, but it's totally worth it um, to see Bert outdoors on a big screen. I'm uh, probably going to take like a blanket or some chairs or something and just chill out in front of the car and not go near anybody else and take in a show. And so I'm curious to know, like, Bert's on tour, so there's obviously driving theaters all over the country. Have, has anybody been to any of these kind of shows? Have you thought about going to these kind of shows? Have you been to anything like that, you know, social distancing acceptable venues to see anything since this whole thing started? Um... 
I've heard that Walmart is going to start doing shows in their parking lots. Um, they're going to they're going to set up screens in parking lots and do a drive-in movie night. And I looked at the there the, the movies around here are all just stuff that you can watch on Vudu. So I don't I don't know why I would drive out there to watch it, but I guess if you don't have it, uh, that's a great option and something to do with the kids. And I think it's you know pretty socially responsible for this. Um, but I'm curious to know, like, is there anything in your area, like, the hardest problem that I've faced with all of this is what do I do with my children when they're here? Like, what do we do? We can't go anywhere. Our, our favorite activity was to go to the mall and go shopping. We can't. We can go to Walmart. There's only so much you can do at Walmart. And they're currently in the middle of renovating our Walmart, which is really bizarre. They have a, It's really strangely laid out right now and everything's moving around every time you go in it's completely different um so you know we can go there or we can go to like a discount store or something but there's really uh, the activity that we most did that you know that we most enjoyed together which is shopping is not really a thing we can do right now so there's and being that i'm in west virginia there's not really a whole lot to do period right like there's no there's no Musicians don't come here. Shows don't come here. There's no theaters. There's no, you know, uh, there's no anything. Like you, you, you have to go to Pittsburgh or east of, or west of Columbus or something like that. Go to D.C. to see anything. You know, there's no theme parks here. There's no, there's not even. Uh, I guess there's a bowling alley, but you know, there, there's really not a whole lot to do here uh, with the kids. There's no water parks. There's no pools. There's no nothing. Right. What do you do? What what have you been doing with kids? Like how do you how do you deal with that? I don't know. I'm excited to go see Bert. Um, my kids are a little not excited because this was supposed to be their weekend, but we switched weekends, so you know, so that I could go do this, and I think they're okay with it now. They understand. But uh, I'm curious to know what what you've been doing with kids, or have you looked into anything like this? Uh, and what do you think about me going to something like this? Let me know in the comments. You know I love hearing from you, always. Thank you for being here, as always. Thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing and being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really, truly appreciate you. And I will see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is caducus. It's an adjective meaning transitory, short-lived, perishable. Something which I fancy was part of me falls off from me and leaves no scar. It was caducious. Ralph Waldo Emerson, American poet, essayist, and transcendentalist. Caducus. C-A-D-U-C-O-U-S.